Hello, everyone. I so good while back. There was some festival on where they were doing loads of demos, and I downloaded Hunters and missed half of them. I've done it again. <laughs> it's because the thing started on a Friday, and I don't record on the weekends because my family's in. <laughs> but here's some of the ones I still like. This is Charlie from the Swamp. People do, ah, uh, Mr. Breakup, ah, uh, Mr. They throw away rings. Well, might be. But what if, due to all the above, a nasty creature invades your home and threatens your family with death unless you bring the ring back? Well, it's not something that happens every day, at least to a regular little frog, but still, it's not such a big problem if that frog has some brains. A whip, quite a lot of courage. And although Charlie must leave his wife with little spawn and go to up and go to unexplored wild places, fight cruel enemies and solve hard tasks. Heaps cool. Enemies get the whip, the girl gets her ring, and Charlie finally gets his home and regular life back. I don't know if I read all that right, but I think I get the gist. Yeah. Ah! Stupid badger with a hammer. Respawn? No, they did not. Good stuff. Oh, are you a different enemy? You feel like a different enemy. Might not be, I suppose. Oh god, I've got explosives. Who trusted me with them? I am one hit from death. <laughs> I was, I was legit a different enemy. It was one of the wee rat guys when I went through it before. Oh well. Maybe they'll have some like random positions or something. Shop? Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You've saved my life. Oh, is that it? Yeah, sure. Well, it happens sometimes. Oh no, sir. It's hard to find the words to express my gratitude. Well, you can express it with some money. Oh, surely you're joking, sir. But in case you ever come to Mole Hills, you can count on me. What? Ooh, secrets. Well, well I guess it's not secrets, but... Bad bird. Desperately try not to get hit because it's like one hit from death. Eh, right, there are thorns. We're probably gonna get by them. Don't trust the black abyss. Hi! <gasps> oh, the downward strike's at an angle. That's why it's not working. Does have a downward strike, it's just at an angle. Flower, friend or foe? Ah, friend, okay. Fucking awkward pain in the ass bird wearing a chestnut. I have no idea where I am. I know what my objective is, but like, damn. <laughs> oh, okay, I can't go that way. I wonder how to restore health. I want to know how to do that. I'm obviously just exploring now. Do I have a map? Oh, I do. Oh, what the fuck? Soon? No. Well, it kind of looks like there's no point in being this way, doesn't it? Such a nasty wee whip as well. My boy Charlie, don't fuck around.
Ah, don't be touching me with your spiky bombs. Whoa. Of course, the first thing I do is get hit by a giant badger and lose half my health, so I have to panic the rest of the playthrough. <laughs> Whoa, that was freaking close. Go down! No, I shouldn't go down. Right, that's that's thorns. Don't like thorns. Weird little thing. Anyway. I can't get that way. So is this dead end? Yeah, it is. What? Oh. Right, it was a way, way back. Go farther in with that. <laughs> Squirrel. Shut up, Nate! <laughs> Alright. Um. Ah, do you know what? That's my weapon pure blunty to actually I've just I've just actually just spied that. Yeah, look, it's all chipped to hell. Hmm. I wonder if that's significant. Wolfgang Kino. Right, so can I bomb you? Is that a thing? No, okay. Yeah, as always, when I play these things, it just feels like it's good manners to remind folk that this is a demo and Disney reflect the final product. I have to say though, it feels quite unusual that there's potentially weapon durability. I would have thought that sharpening stone would have... oh, I died. Right, so there's no invincibility frame buffer. I need to remember that. Well, there is, it's just minute by the looks of it. Right, I had a key. Let's just go try and beeline this. So, I'm assuming the one that's lit up. Oh no, that might, might just be colour code. Um, I'll try that blocked to the left then. Go away, bird. Nice. Wonder how much it costs though, because as a taxi, you probably have to pay. Yep. So I do wonder if upgrades are a thing in this game, because it does seem like the kind of game that might be prone to a wee upgrade or two. Right, I just realised this is blaring for me. Uh, I think you've been getting an echo for the music, sorry. <laughs> My bad. It's still turned up quite high from... What the fuck was I doing last time? Hey! Thanks, turtle guy. Uh, it's not where I want to be. <laughs> Pretty cute, though. So enemies do respond, just not immediately. Oh, for the brain! I get, I just got stuck in a corner. Well, all right, okay. Running down, running down.
can't go round and down, can I? No, all the way to the left. Alright. I always start these experiences pure careful and cautious and then after a wee bit I just let hubris take over and it's like, nah. Yeah, just, just run. We're only here to see anyway. Kay. Oh, I drop a portion of my coins. Gravy. Good for me. Is this bad? No, it's just mud. Alright. It just kind of looked like a scary dark abyss. No, is this not where the door was? Apparently not. Oh well, it's way up here anyway. Need to remember the map's not as literal as it looks. Nope, I have to get the yellow key. Meh. Well, dang it. Sorry, I had to take a brief break there. The door went, and I uh, decided, ooh, I want coffee, because, you know, caffeine fuels my life nowadays. Whoa, oh, stupid hedgehogs. Ah. Oh my god. Just remember, folks, if you ever think you're unfit, don't worry, there's a fat Scotsman out there that can't walk up the stairs without getting out of breath. Fair enough, I've got asthma, but, you know. Wahey! Ooh! So there must be some kind of weapon durability thing going on. Hmm. Before I end this video, I'm going to reset progress and see if when I start my wee whippy chain thing. Hi. Hey, you weren't there before. Oh, wow, okay. Right, sure, game. Okay. Thanks. Fecker. Where am I now? Ah, yeah, I'll start the game for the beginning and see if the, the whip chain... Oh. Secrets. What are you hiding from his game? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Apparently an enemy spawned there. So, I guess the enemies are... Uh, I want to say ran random. Is that what I'm trying to say here? I random. Hey, that must be right. Not necessarily random, but you know, procedural. That's 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 probably more an accurate word to describe what I'm trying to say. It's like the set places that sort of just decides where it's going to spawn them. So there's definitely something about the controls that just doesn't feel right. Oh. Reign of the reign of Queen Henriette, the butterfly, is known as the happiest three days in the history of Upper Heavens. The Queen has released all the prisoners, given all the money to the people, forgiven all debts, and happily died. After her death, Upper Heavens had a three year crisis. Youch. So, so far I do have a few criticisms about the game. Nothing over the top, because again, it's very early access. Ah. Nope. You're a green key. Oh, 
Ah, so that'll be the key for that one that fucked up last time then. Uh, alrighty, alright. I don't want to cut too much out of these demos, but this one is, it just seems to be a lot of backwards and forwards so far. Ah, cause I mean, what's the point in skipping out? Glub glub. Wow. I don't know what that is. May just be a glitch in the train, I guess. Um. Gosh, what was I saying? Oh, oh, dang! Right. <laughs> I've just worked something out. I've been using the unhappy, you know, the white face is where I am. That's why I keep getting tripped. I'm the wee green one that's up the top. Alright. Alright, game. So if that's the case, I haven't even been down here then. Whoosh! This is not on out of me, apparently. Rick the Ladybird was always wanted to be rich. But he hated work and was, well, no very smart. Someone advised him to start selling stuff, but as Rick was not smart, he started selling anything but useful things. Citizens were joking, I'd better go buy something at Rick's, meaning that their opponent was so annoying that a waste of money at Rick's was still better investment. Oh, okay. Good for you, Rick. Oops. Um, sir, I need to be down there potentially, so could you not? I get that this game wants you to be thorough with the maps, but I'm kind of just trying to be- Ah, oh, that's just unfair! Oh, oh, come on, Brian, that was dumb. Oh, no, there's a bird! Good for me. Get away, scary hedgehog. It's gonna be a dick the whole time, isn't he? Go! Name, some sentence. Pardon? Ah, uh, I guess that's that then. Let me, let me, let me start from the beginning again. Let me just, let me just start from the beginning. Nah, right, okay, I was wrong. See, my wee whip chain does actually just start degraded. Oh well, I guess that'll be it for this game then. Um, clearly very early access. I see, I love the music. Um, there's something about the controls just a little bit too, it's not smooth enough. If that makes sense. Like sometimes I'm whipping and the whip stops just short of where I think it's going to go as if the animation's been interrupted by something. I don't know what that is. Um, I think if there is going to be some form of weapon degradation, maybe have a health bar for your weapon. Failing that, what that little sharpening rock done was actually an upgrade. Uh, which maybe some tooltip variation, you know, from the cracked blade to maybe slightly less cracks, to a full blown blade to a silver blade to a gold blade to a platinum, whatever, you know. Um, Random enemy placement is an interesting choice. Normally you play through these kind of games by memorization and that kind of, you kind of have a snag in the plan if you're going to be a random rolling the enemies. Which I'm not saying that's a bad thing or a good thing, it's just it's just a thing. It's a feature. Well, 
quite happy with that, to be honest myself, because I'm not really too into speedrunning and stuff. Um, like I say, Charlie's adorable. The animation is smooth enough. It does feel simple, but that's clearly what they're going for, you know. I like how fast my character attacks, but it, again, there's just there's something about the animation being interrupted or something that looks like it's not going the full way. And the only criticism I would give in terms of the actual combat is a little bit more of an invincibility window. Because, like, there is an invincibility window there, but it's, like, not even half a second. Maybe, like, after you get hit, like, a second, so that you don't just get stunlocked by something and immediately killed. Like, that time I get stuck into the wall by the... the... via? Via, sorry. The hedgehog was rolling into me, and, um, I just got stuck on it. I couldn't move. And that was just... one, two, three, there was, there was all my health gone. S such was my life at that point in time. Which is just unfortunate, but you know, got to be like one second invincibility window. You know, just oof, then I'm flashing, and I can just kind of clip through him, just try not to die. I think that'd probably be a lot better for it. Anyway, that'll do it for Charlie from the Swamp. Um, I think I'd need to see more of it before I put this on the wish list. You know what I mean? But anyway, if you want to play it for yourself, maybe you won't get the crash that I done. Like, I, I seem to be good at crashing these demos. <laughs> uh, but that'll do it for this one. Good luck. Take it easy. Oh, shit, it's linked in the demo. That's what I was meant to say. Yeah. I'm good at this.